Hello, users! And welcome! Is this on? Is this on? Is this possibly? Could this possibly be on? I hope so. Because if not, I will be upset. Alright, everyone. So... Um, yeah. We're going to play Halo here. Um, this is what I do. I'm going to just select them all. So I'm sorry for the, the awkward opening. This is Halo Ampersand Chillaximum. The series where I play Halo. And I kind of relax, you know, I kind of have a good time. And uh, I talk about things. And today's subject, uh, probably the most common subject in these videos, has been uh, my dream stuff. Um, lucid dreaming, moan, may, moan, moanly, mainly, mostly in, in, in mainly <laughs> equals moanly, um, but moanly, uh, lucid dreaming. And this is the first episode that is actually being live streamed. Um, I, I did not stream for a very long time, and we're finally back into the live stream environment. Um, so what this is going to be is usually these episodes are about 30 minutes. This one will basically just be uh, until I figure out everything I've wanted to say, and if there's any questions, I will answer those. Um, holy moly. But yes, so today's topic is going to be some of the new herbs that I've been trying and uh, how they blend with other herbs. Um, so Dev J in the chat says, I do not remember my dreams. Step number one, I'm going to give you all a, a full on um, tutorial here real quick at the start. Um, feel free if you're watching an archive or you look this video up six years from now, feel free to skip ahead a little bit. Um, but if you don't know what lucid dreaming is, lucid dreaming is the ability to tell that you're dreaming when you're in your dreams and for you to essentially be able to manipulate your dreamscape. Um, you know, a lot of people will basically fly around, be epic, and all that other good stuff. Um, so I have been doing this experiment for probably about two to three months on a nightly basis. I have been writing down all of my dreams. Step one is to get a dream journal. Step one, you need to get a notebook and you need to have it next to your, uh, you know, your sleeping area. And you need to, as soon as you wake up, write that shit down. Now, what I do is I wake up multiple times in the evening. Um, what that is called is it's called wake back to bed. Um, the idea that you get up and then you, uh, you know, do something to uh, stimulate your brain. And then you go to sleep trying to think of a specific thing. And then that helps you dream about that specific thing, which helps you realize that you're dreaming. Um, so I do this usually every night. Um, my body kind of wakes up naturally throughout the night. Um, I know a lot of people say that as well. You know, they have trouble sleeping. They wake up sometimes. Um, and you can actually use that to your advantage. Um, and uh, so like if you wake up in the middle of the night, write your dream down. And then maybe you can take uh, an herbal supplement, uh, like the ones I'm going to talk about, that will help you get back to uh, to sleep. Are these people actually playing? Or like, what am I going up against? That will help you get back to sleep and then also make your dreams way better. So the main herb I want to talk about um, right now is Salea Zacatechichi. Um, or some people pronounce it Kalea Zacatechichi. But I think it is... Um, Salea Zacatechichi. That is my preferred pronunciation. Um, and uh, so, yes, basically, when you write down your dreams, that improves. The main thing you want to look for here is dream recall. You cannot, well, actually, you probably are becoming lucid in your dreams, but you just don't remember it. Like, you just don't remember it. Um, so one of the things is once you have better dream recall, which can be gotten from, uh, you know, writing down your dreams and stuff. Once you have better dream recall, then you can start using supplements that will make your dreams a lot more interesting. 
Um, now you can use these supplements because they do aid in Dream Recall, so you can just use them out of the get-go. Obviously, look all these things up, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a doctor. If you're, like, old or have certain medical conditions, you might, you know, mileage may vary, blah, blah, blah. Um, now don't sue me, please. But yes, uh, so basically what you can do is uh, you can use these supplements, these herbs, whatever you want to call them, and they modify the way you dream. So the ones that I've been doing a lot over the past couple, a uh, little bit, are Saleya, Zakatachichi, and Mugwort. I've done a little bit more as well, but these are the main two that I feel like synergize the best. Um, and after this game, I'll show you. I've got capsules. Um, one thing that I would recommend is, if this is something that's interesting to you, to get a capsule machine. Now, um, you can get them in a variety of places, though, you know, I'm thinking about maybe trying to find, like, some little site I can sponsor. I'm thinking about, you know, maybe, maybe, right? Like, so I'm not going to point you to any specific location unless I'm getting paid, but, uh, I've been, I've been scouting potential sponsorships here, but don't worry about that. Um, but you can find a capsule machine and you can just grind up the herb. Uh, a lot of people that follow me are probably weed smokers. Use that same grinder. And uh, grind up some Salea Zack the Chichi or Mugwort, throw it in a capsule, and down that shit uh, before bed. Um, these are the capsules that I've got. I just got a pill bottle full of them. Uh, these are size double zero um, capsules, which is about 750 milligrams, though it varies depending on what you're putting in there. Um, and. I usually, that's Salea Zakatachichi. The way I've been using this is uh, for the last like two weeks or so, a couple days ago, I had a little bit of, I'm going to get drunk and do some weed and have a little bit of a party, but that really fucks your dreams up. If you're a drinker, stop drinking. If you're a weeder, stop weeding, because that is going to fuck up your ability to dream and actually recall your dreams quite significantly. Um, it's also way cheaper to not do those substances. So think about that as well. Um, but yeah, so basically what I've been doing is I pop three or four, um, Saleya Zakatachichi capsules, um, before I go to bed and I pop a few mugwort capsules before I go to bed. Um, and then if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll take one or two more. Um, it helps me get back to sleep. It makes me excited. One thing that I find especially true with lucid dreaming stuff is that it gives you a reason to go to sleep. A lot of people don't want to go to sleep. They put off going to sleep. It's like, ugh, gotta go to sleep, you know? Ugh, I just want to play more Halo, but I gotta go to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when you have this kind of like, oh, wow, I, I can't wait. I get to sleep. It's more like something you're looking forward to. So that's good for mental health. Uh, so I'm just throwing that out there. Um, so... <laughs> this guy in the chat room is so dumb. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to do like this whole like professional broadcast, but this guy in the chat is so stupid. Holy shit. <laughs> you don't need no herb. It's all placebo. It works. If not just a bike lock and hid an old man, you are good at that. Like seriously, what is wrong with these people? Anyway, I'm sorry for the distraction. But anyway, so what I do is I take some before bed. And when you wake up in the middle of the night, chances are you are waking up in another, like, the thing about dreaming is there are multiple sleep cycles. Um, and REM, REM, is the sleep cycle where you dream. So when you sleep the first two hours, you know, you'll have a shorter REM cycle. And from hours two to four, you'll have a slightly longer REM cycle. And from four to six, a longer one, and six to eight, a longer one, and nine to 10 or whatever, you know? Like, you, your REM cycles get longer um, the more you sleep. So if you wake up in between a sleep cycle and you pop a pill, you know, that will basically change the, you know, that will metabolize in probably 20, 30 minutes, and then hit you when you're hitting a longer REM cycle. Um, so what I do is I like to take a couple before bed because at this point I don't always wake up in the middle of the night But I like to take a couple before bed and that will usually make me remember a lot of dreams The most dreams I've ever had in one night was eight dreams in one night now You might be thinking this bitch is lying. I'm lying. Oh, you got me. I'm a liar, right? You might be thinking holy shit. You're probably typing in the chat room right now, you know 
that this person is just, you know, a complete liar, shouldn't be believed. And you probably would be right. But, uh, you're wrong. Because I'm not a liar. I don't lie. Um, and I got the dream journal to prove it. So, um, one of the things is if you do these supplements before going to bed, um, like the first time you go to bed, you might remember dreams in those, like, short REM cycles. You know, your REM cycles are very short, um, for the first couple, and you usually don't remember those dreams, because, like, if you do dream, they're just, like, they're over in a flash. But if you do do these substances like mugwort or Salea Zacatachichi, and I'll describe what those do specifically more in a little bit here. Um, but if you do those before you go to bed, you have a higher likelihood of remembering a couple little tidbits from those first few dreams that you have. Hello, Emily Galvin, a new viewer, I believe. I, it's okay to ignore the old viewers. I just got to introduce new people. Um, and if you're not new, I retract my hello. But yeah, so Salea Zacatachichi is also called the dream herb. It is uh, an herb that grows somewhere in Mexico. And uh, mugwort is also known as mugwort. Um, and that, that grows basically everywhere. But basically what these herbs do is they increase your, you know, your brain activity um, a little bit. It increases the kind of things that make you remember dreams, uh, specifically relating to your brain. Um, and so when you take them in tandem, and there probably could be a better explanation, blah, blah, blah. When you take them in tandem, basically the mugwort will make your dreams more vivid. And the Salea Zacatachichi will make the dreams more, uh, like you will recall more of them. They will, there, you will be, main thing with Salea Zacatachichi that I've noticed is that I recall more details. So like I can give you like a, a basic plot of a dream that I've got. But, like, with Salea Zacatachichi, I can remember, like, you know, like, what the serial number on, like, a SIM card is. You know, like, and then write it down in my dream journal. And then, like, you know, like, that. It just really helps with that clarity and remembering specific events. Um. Damn, I got lasered again. Can you say hi to me, please? Says Baku. Hi, Baku. First time here in your live. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. I am a variety YouTube channel. I mostly upload political stuff. If you are not in favor of uh, the uh, the political agenda that I espouse, you might not like my uh, my YouTube channel. But if you are, then uh, there's a lot going on here. But also, if you aren't, I also talk about other stuff. Um, like this. So, one of the things that again, you re this is a process training your dream recall is a lot like training a muscle uh, or lifting a weight and then like you know like it, it might be hard at first and a lot of people say i don't have dreams i've never dreamt before in my life you know and it's like yes you have first of all you just don't remember them probably because you're stoned all the time or drinking all the time because you're a freak show and you have addiction issues which i also have addiction issues um, and so like, again, this gives you something to look forward to. It's cheaper, you know, instead of spending like $200 on an ounce of weed and you're like, hell yeah, man. And then you run out after a weekend, you can spend like 10 at $10 on an ounce of Salea Zacatachichi and you've got like enough fucking like herb to like last you for like months. You know what I mean? So it's just like an all, it's all about money for me. Got to be very, uh, economically economical uh but yes but again number one rule is the dream journal the dream journal is great um the supplements are also great um but like really that you're not like the thing about this is the supplements it's it's not going to like activate these things it's only going to make them easier um so it's like if um if you're jumping over a gap right and like normally you're wearing like a backpack filled with groceries and it's weighing you down it's got like 50 pounds in there and you can't jump as far right imagine taking that backpack off you still have to jump over the gap you know the little puddle whatever you're jumping over i don't know why you're jumping over anything but whatever you're jumping over it's just that it's going to be slightly easier um so that's basically the idea but there's a bunch I can go on and on and on, and I'll probably make separate streams where I talk about some of the other ones, like galantamine, 
or a blue lotus flower or some of that other stuff. But Salea Zakatachichi and Mugwort, I've found, have been significantly by far and away the most effective for kind of stimulating that stuff. And again, I got really drunk um, the other night and I got really high the night before and I just, you know, wanted to have like a good ass time. And so when I, like, when I just did these herbs, like, it really helped me remember dreams, even when, um, I went to bed with uh, a lot of weed in my system. So, like, even, and one thing is on marijuana, is that makes dream recall harder. It kind of impacts your short-term memory, which you may have noticed, um, and that makes it harder to remember dreams because your memory is being impaired. But I've tried mugwort with weed, and I've actually had some very interesting dreams out of it. So I'm, uh, that it's definitely counterintuitive and they work against each other, but uh, it can definitely produce some interesting results. So now I'm all about interesting results. Another thing that I would recommend this for is if, if people have PTSD of any kind, this is good stuff. Uh, this is like just in general lucid dreaming and dream therapy in general, really good stuff. I uh, highly recommend. Um, did you dream when you were drunk as a skunk? Not a single one. Not a single, not a single dream. I dream, but I can't discuss what I dream about here. No one's asking you to discuss it. Okay, so um, earlier I was talking about what I dreamed about last night. And so I'm going to talk about this. Um, th this guy in the chat room is so bizarre. Oh dear, no VPN, no IP protection. You sure on D colon partition. You can take that responsibility for that three, like what? <laughs> like, I, like this would be much more threatening if you could speak English. Like, I'm so sorry, but come on, man. Anyway, uh, my dream last night that was, I was at the Libertarian Convention. And for those of you that have followed me for any more than eight months, you're probably familiar with what AGDQ is. You sure on D partition? Oh, you can, I'm, just, I'm just trying to understand that comment. Uh, so I was, I was at the Libertarian Convention. I, for whatever reason, <laughs> literal NPC in the chat. Yes, there literally is an NPC. Um. I was at the Libertarian Convention and I think I was either trying to like usurp their candidate or I was either running for something as a Libertarian. I don't know. Um, Vermin Supreme was actually in my dream, um, only for a moment. I did not meet him, but he was in the background. But um, wow, we're playing Fiesta again. Copying 50, like what are you talking, what the hell? <laughs> This is so bizarre. Anyway, um, I was at the Libertarian Convention. And... Hold up, I might have to consult my dream journal. I'm trying to remember the... Okay, so it was kind of like AGDQ. And AGDQ is like a speedrun marathon where a bunch of sweaty, cringy grease balls um, get together and then play video games that no one likes and then like talk shit about like transgender people and gay people. That That's basically what AGDQ is. Um... So, like, we were in this, like, kind of, like, trailer. It was, like, a really small dwelling in the middle of, like, some, like, factory. There was just, like, a trailer. And so, like, it, and, like it's, like, maybe as large as, like, my room. Like, if you can extrapolate. Uh, Owen Johnson, thank you for the two buck. What was Vermin doing? He was sitting there and he was giggling. Um, oh, I just read that the Kalia Salia herb helps with gastro problems. Yeah, these herbs have a lot of other things that they assist with. Um, but for me, the dreaming is the number one thing, but they're also very helpful for a lot of other stuff. Um, I'm straight, but I love you demon. I don't know what that means. So what does your sexuality have to do with this? Um, so yes, so I was there and I gave my little speech and during my speech, the police came in to raid the trailer and basically kick everyone out because apparently the libertarians forgot to pay their rent and that's pretty fun and so like typical libertarians um they all leave instantly and they don't challenge authority in any way because again these are libertarians and so i'm stuck there 
deciding if I like what am I going to do and then I realized oh shit I'm missing something I don't quite remember what it was I think it was like either like my phone my wallet you know like maybe a piece of jewelry something I had put down when I came in that I forgot to to put somewhere else and so as the cops were shuffling everyone out of the libertarian convention um, I'm frantically trying to look around and I know the cops aren't going to let me do anything about that. I know they're gonna, not going to say like, oh yeah, whatever, because these are aggressive motherfuckers, right? And, um, so I'm looking for this thing and then all of a sudden I wake up. Now, I've got this ability because of my having done this for a while i've got this ability so that if i wake up i can basically enter a dream at any point uh because it's fresh in my memory so i kind of like go back into the dream hello is it down is what down dude this chat i'm so sorry if i am i missing something or like are these people like just speaking in tongues like like what like I i'm sorry i'm just missing a lot of context here um, so I go back into the dream and, uh, the cops are still there, except we're not in this trailer anymore. We're in like a new location, but the context is the same. Um, oof, this guy's about to get on. We're in like, ah, I'm owned. We were in a new location, but the context was the same. All the libertarians were gone. Uh, the chat is a dream. It might be a dream. I'll be honest, you know? That's a reality check. You know, if you just do this on your nose and try to breathe. If you can breathe, you're dreaming. If you can't breathe, chances are you're choking yourself and you're suffocating. Um, this is one thing that is good with the coronavirus is every time I put my mask on, it restricts my breath and I can't breathe with my mask on uh, because of all the carbon dioxide buildup. So it's like a constant reality check. When I'm outside, I just got my mask on. I'm like, oh, I must be dreaming. I can't, like, you know, like I can't breathe. But, you know, so <laughs> all the libertarians were gone. Sounds like heaven. So, yeah, so I come back into the dream. Uh, all the libertarians are gone. And the, I'm just kind of interacting with the cops. And all of a sudden, uh, I remember that the reason I went to the libertarian convention was because it was advertised in a mall. So I was in a mall, right? And then that's how I found the Libertarian Convention. So I was like, oh, I'm just going to go there and fuck around. And they just let me for whatever reason. You know? Uh, I wasn't violating the nap. So what are, what are you going to do? Um, and uh, so then I realized, oh, okay. So that's the context. That's where I'm at. And then I realized, oh, shit, I'm in the mall. So again, one of the things about dreams are when you realize that you're dreaming, you can kind of just change the context willy-nilly. Um, so around this point, I kind of realized that like, yeah, I'm probably dreaming. Now there's a whole different thing on dream control that I could spend a lot of time talking about, but really dream control just boils down to the more you dream, the more you're able to control things. A lot of the times, if you try to control stuff, you'll just wake up, uh, if you don't do it right. But dream control, like if you can actually go like, hmm, I want to change the, the location I'm in or stuff like that, dream control can be really useful. Um... Oh, what the hell? Just ordered Vivid Dream Tea with Organic Orbal Blend. Demiama, Blue Lotus, Mugwort, Lavender on Etsy. Also got some straight mugwort, which I'm pretty sure grows all over my black. All over my black. Okay. But anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't pick random mugwort from, like, the city streets. I mean, I would rather get it in a... What am I taking? The two supplements that I'm uh, taking in particular here are Kalea or Salea Zaka Tachichi and Mugwort. Um, and I do them in tandem. I love things growing on my black. Oh my god. Where do I buy them? Now I'm hesitant. Now again, I'm considering trying to get like a deal going on with some distributor but uh where do you just look them up um just like copy and paste Saleya Zakata Chichi into Google and you'll you'll find them it's on Etsy it's on a lot of different websites um but I'm not going to advertise anything unless I know I can either not get money from it or get money from it 
So I'm in the act of maybe seeing if I can get money from this. So it's in the gray area. But you can smoke it. For example, if ca if you don't want to make a capsule machine, you can just use some like whatever's and you can smoke it. I smoke it from time to time, but I'm not a huge fan of smoking because it hurts my lungs. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of smoking, um, but I do it sometimes. Um, you can make it a tea, but it tastes like garbage. Mugwort tastes like garbage, and Salea Zacatechichi also tastes like garbage. Um, so I just do capsules. That's like significantly the easiest, like you taste it for like half a second and gulp it down. Dude, this guy in the chat room is baffling me. Like, thi like this obsession, like is this like October 2016? Like, what is this, like, random? Like, <laughs> there's, there's, like, if you're gonna, like, do this Antifa cringe LARP, like, you can, like, cite the shooting in Portland from yesterday. Like, there's so much, like, this bike lock thing is just strange. Do I make my own capsules? Yes. It is way more, uh, economically friendly to craft your own capsules as opposed to buying them pre-capsuled because you'll always get marked up. And then also that gives you more opportunity, like you can get the raw herb from different areas, like, you know, like you can make your own mixtures, your own concoctions, that kind of stuff. Craft? God bless. But anyway, does anyone have questions? Um, we can hit like the, the raw Q&A part. This is one of my favorite things to talk about. So if anyone has any questions, qualms, concerns, whatever, uh, let me know. I feel bad for blocking that random guy. Now I want to know what he's... It's literally the same thing over and over again. It's like listening to what I say and then repeating it and then adding bike lock. Like as if, like as if this is in October of 2016. You know, it's just strange. Can you change the behavior of people you interact with in my dreams? Yes, I can. But again, this is a skill you have to develop. Um, for me personally, I just like if I ask people like, hey, can you be nice? They will just be nice because I'm just projecting like positive vibes, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, it doesn't always work. Is this guy saying am in the chat room over? Is that like supposed to be mocking me? I'm so, I'm baffled. This is like one thing that I do is like I get obsessed over like some low IQ dullard who's just posting random garbage in my chat room. Like, I, like this person is barely a human being and yet I'm just sitting here trying to psychoanalyze them. I am an MPS. What does that mean? Hami? I'm just trying to make you understand that you are an MPS. What? What if I'm an emotionless void? You gotta be more in touch with yourself. I'll do a separate video on meditation once I've gotten more of that down on how it interacts with dream world, with the dream world. But meditation is useful for anyone. I recommend taking like 20 minutes out of your day, preferably near the end of your day, and just kind of sitting there and being one with the world. Cause that's gonna make your dreams a lot more profound. Um, because really your dream, like dream stuff is all about like expanding your awareness. And when you expand your awareness in the flesh world, you're going to be expanding your awareness in your dream world by proxy. Um, cause it's like kind of like the thing that carries over kind of a thing. You are two steps away from being an NPC. Not to be confused with an NPC, but an MPC. What the fuck is wrong with this person? <sighs> this is so bizarre. I, I, if I were paying attention to the game and not staring at this dumb fuck in the chat, I would have killed that guy. But sadly, I did not. Yeah, meditation is really good. Multi-sexual playable character? That sounds hot, dude. Sign me up. Is 
It should. Hey, dot, dot. Okay, whatever. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm being so distracted. Um, I'm coming clean. It's me on an alt account. No. Holy shit. I love dullards. God's gift to man are dullards. God, they're just so funny. But anyway, um, meditation is really good. Just like 10, 20 minutes before bed really, really just kind of like gets you in the zone. Again, if you treat dreaming like something to look forward to, one of the things that I like to say is dreaming is one third of your life. I'm 24 years old. And so I've spent about eight or probably nine, maybe 10 years because I dream or I, I slept a lot when I was really depressed. So I've spent at least eight years of my life like a motionless sack, you know? So it's like, why do that when you can spend those eight years exploring a whole new reality that most people don't actually interact with? It's just, I don't know. I, I find it a profound waste of time because it doesn't really do anything. Like making a dream journal doesn't really cost anything. Like maybe like 80 cents for a notebook and like maybe like two cents for like a, a pencil and you're good to go. You know what I mean? So it's just like, there's no reason not to do this kind of stuff. And it, ha it can have profound positive impacts on your mental state, your psyche, how you feel. It makes you like energetic in the morning. You feel excited. Like, wow, I just had an epic dream kind of thing. It's just, I don't know. It, this is something that I think every human should do uh, without exception, I'd say. And again, if you've got PTSD, any kind of trauma, uh, lucid dreaming can be very helpful. Being able to see some things that make you scared and then say, hey, bud, you know, not on my watch. And then like, uh, if you have nightmares, I get nightmares all the time, but I've, I, with my dream abilities, I'll explain the song in a second. I've been able to basically eradicate the, the fear of nightmares. So like, I'll have like big demons, you know, coming after me, but it's like, okay, and, and then I just kind of like start playing with them and it's just really fun. What's the song? This is Mega Man 8 Frostman. Mega Man 8 for the PS1. Oh my god, I just saw what you posted in the Discord Mega Magikarp. That's so good. Oh. Do you smell in your dreams? I have a have a dream smell journal. I don't partic like I smell, yes, but I don't like I'll like if I if smelling something is relevant and I can remember that, I'll write it down. I try to write down all things. Here's some tips for when you're doing a dream journal. I would highly recommend um, like writing down things that like aren't just like a plot of what your dream is like and then I drove into the river and then collapsed and like like don't like pretend that your dream is like a, a, an action film and you're just writing down like a like a screenplay right what you want to do is you want to kind of focus on how the dream makes you feel so if you like are in a dream and you feel anxious say I was anxious and I was in a cold place or like that kind of stuff. You want to like make it as descriptive for like the visceral parts of your body as possible. Um, so like that, that you're just going to want to like, it's less about the plot and more about how you interacted. And, and if you dream in a way, it's like, oh, I don't dream. I just like, I dream in a third person kind of way, like watching a movie. That's fine. You know, that's cool. Just write down whatever you can. If there's another character in one of your dreams and they're like, blah, 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 you know, write that down, you know, like do whatever you can to make the dreams as memorable on like a spiritual level, like not on a, like a, a plot level, but like so that all the parts of your brain can be exercised. So like if you write, you know, it was really cold. Um, you know, I was shivering, you know, I could you know, see my breath when I breathe, when I breathed, when I, br whatever, you know, and I could just feel dread, you know, like some, use like descriptive storytelling kind of stuff. As you can tell, I am not a descriptive storyteller, 
Um, at least not without proper planning. But I can try my best. Pavel. Hello, Pavel. Hey, I just left a comment. A comment, not a comment, but a comment at your video. Kyle Rittenhouse punches women several times a month before mass shooting. Calling you a hypocrite. Backing it with sources and arguments. Not argument, yeah, arguments. Wow, thank you for posting that in the uh, the stream chat. I appreciate that. Um, but I will I will not deviate from my schedule to look at your stupid garbage. I'm sorry. Um, this guy in the chat room is so bizarre. If you're gonna troll and be a dumbass, Pavel, please act like random radio is random, because this guy really got the trolling game on fucking lock. I am Czech, not the best as, as of now in English. Well, if you're going to defend a mass shooter, like, I don't care what language you speak. I don't care where you're from. You're garbage to me. Um, if you want to kind of, like, talk about the basic points here real quick, feel free. But, um, I'm sorry, but, like, I just, anything that excuses the killing of innocent people, miss me with that shit. Um, sexy dreams. If you want to, like, go into your dream and fuck people, that, that can be fun, but you should understand that when you get excited in a dream, you are more likely to wake up. Um, and so, like, if you want to have these dreams where you, like, you fuck some bitch or whatever, you know, you should try to do that, like, maybe when you feel like you've done other stuff. Like, if you become lucid and, like, you have, like, you know, near the start of a dream and you probably have, like, a lot of time to explore, I would save the fucking for the end because you don't want to accidentally get too, you know, caught up in the moment and um, wake yourself up, you know, with like splooge all over your sheets. That's probably not going to be good. If you want to spend that dream like doing romance, you know, like whining and dining, and then, you know, at the very end you do the 69ing, that can probably be pretty good. But I don't know, the whole idea of just like, oh, I'm lucid. Where's this bitch? You know, like, eh, I don't know. Yo, I'm kind of owning with these double kills. Like, I think every single kill I've gotten has been, like, a double kill. Dev J, my English is my fourth language. That's cool, man. Damon, I am mad. I wouldn't be mad if you were just eating chicken on your own volition, but the idea that you're going to troll in my chat room, that's what makes me mad. I'm triggered. Dude, there is no evidence that will absolve Kyle Rittenhouse of killing innocent protesters. Like, I'm sorry. Okay, the guy shot someone, ran away, and then as people were trying to disarm him, he shot two more people. There is no defense there. And this is the last thing I'm going to say because I don't want this video to be bogged down with this garbage. But there is no, like, exculpatory evidence. Oh, some guy who was chasing him had a gun. Okay. Okay. Well, then he is the dumbest guy, like, possible. If he had a gun, and instead of shooting Kyle, he ran at Kyle trying to disarm him, then that guy probably isn't that intelligent. Chances are, if you have a gun, your first instinct... If, if you have a gun with the intent to shoot people, your first instinct isn't, oh, I'm going to run up on this guy's shit. Your first in instinct is to, I don't know, maybe shoot the guy? So, like, this whole thing where you're trying to, like, you know, give exculpatory evidence for some mass shooter, it's just bizarre. It's dumb, and it's silly, and you need to wake the fuck up, because it's annoying. Anyway, back to the dreams. Does anyone have questions about the dream stuff? Because I'm probably going to cut this after this round. Maybe the next round, because this round's over. So I'll do, like, another five-ish, six minutes. Um, and we'll go from there. Mr. Mosk implant week. Whoa, 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 whoa. There is no excuse for taking a life. You can get away with it, but some of us service a bike lock. I don't know why you're servicing a bike lock. And I mean, you know, I would get something safer to put up there, but 
And with the help of Mr. Mosk, Implant, we can talk again. <laughs> what? Have you flown in dreams? I've been watching Avatar The Last Airbender. And I had a dream a couple days ago where I was the Avatar. And I was flying around the world and like diving into the ocean and like singing with whales and stuff. It was really fun. Do you think having a dream journal can help me with other psychological stuff than PTSD? Oh, for sure. It can help with everything. It'll just make you... The thing about it is it gives you the ability to analyze yourself. And any of that will make you a better person. Like understanding yourself, why you say certain things, help you understand your anxieties, help you maybe get rid of some of your anxieties. It's just really good for that kind of stuff. Hello, r 3 Ga. I'm so sorry. I never had lucid dreams sad. Well, if you want to watch this video's archive, you can maybe learn how. At the start of this video and live stream, I was talking kind of more about the basics on how to get started. So... If that sounds something that you're interested in, go uh, watch the VOD when this is over. Off to a good start. Have you ever been to space or another planet? Yes, I have. I've had multiple dreams where I've been uh, flying throughout space and like exploring the cosmos and stuff like that. One thing is, again, if you want to explore specific stuff, I highly recommend... Like, if you, like, want to go into space in a dream, watch, like, a sci-fi show before you go to sleep. You know, if you want to go back in time and explore something from, like, the 70s, watch, like, a show that was, you know, like, watch, like, media before bed. Or, like, if you're waking up in the middle of the night, like, watch a little bit. Like, anything that primes and stimulates your brain into that kind of stuff can be very helpful for exploring. But yeah, also, um, R3 Waiga, uh, this series, Halo and Chill, is just a series where I play Halo and talk about stuff. I've got a lot of other videos about lucid dreaming, but that was more when I was experimenting with it. I feel like I'm kind of like, uh, you know, not advanced, but intermediate, you know. I'm not a beginner anymore, uh, so I kind of gave a quick refresher. So if you, you want to watch the other videos, feel free, um... But this one, if you just want to scroll back and watch it after the live stream is over, um, that will probably be your best bet. Can you describe the other planets you went to a bit? Um, I play a lot of Minecraft. So, like, for me, other planets were just kind of like blank canvas Earths, in a way. Um... I remember one dream where I went to this planet that had like a lot of volcanoes. Could have maybe been something like Venus, potentially. I'm not sure. Um, but a lot of volcanoes, a lot of like soot everywhere. A lot of shit going on. Hello, Daniel S. Yes, this is the Mexican dream herb that I was talking about. Salea Zacatechichi. Dude, I own that guy. Lol, are you kidding me? Volcanoes on Venus? Oh my god. Yo, I'm just tearing it up right now. I'm about to like end this uh, stream with a bang. Just kidding. That'll be on the OnlyFans after show. I've <laughs> I've been really thinking about doing like an OnlyFans like live stream thing or what. I don't know if that's possible, but like a cam site where I just like play video games. That oh god, I really want to do that. Those websites have so many regulation stuff. What are your thoughts on people who write positive affirmation journals? I don't know what that means exactly. Like, just like writing things to make you feel better? Because why not? I don't know. Anything that makes you feel better about yourself is going to make you project better things into society. 
as far as I'm concerned. Ninety-nine percent download complete. Thank you for hanging. What the hell? Apparently, Venus has the most volcanoes in the solar system. Yeah, who'd have thunk? I like analyze streams. Yes. Um, one thing that you should do if you have uh, a dream journal is try to read it back um, whenever you can. Um, so like I try to do like once a week, I'll read uh, just a bunch of random dreams. I'll just kind of flip through. I don't like read them in sequential order, but like I'll flip through, um, read a couple of them, refresh my memory and kind of analyze them a little bit. Uh, so I, I would definitely recommend that. Positive affirmations can lead to delusions. I... Okay. I would need more context to know exactly what it is you're talking about here. Like, if you're writing in a journal, like, it's okay to eat meat. I'm totally not going to have heart disease when I'm 40 over and over again, like Bart Simpson or something. I mean, sure, that can lead to delusion, but <laughs> I'm not quite sure if that's the... Uh, the intent to my understanding Brianna let's be honest you don't al you already don't look at me in the eyes so I don't think that's too much of a concern damn just trying to end the game so anyway thank you for watching this episodic installation of halo and chill uh i've talked a lot about dreams today i will probably do more of these um but uh we'll see um so if you didn't like this who cares i don't care what you think but if you did like this you can go watch some of my other halo and chill videos i talk about a lot of stuff if you want to hear me talk about fast food and nutrition i've got a video on that I've got a lot of stuff. So, um, but thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. And uh, thank you for the super chat, even though giving me money on PayPal or Patreon would have been better. But I'll take it uh, nonetheless. And uh, I will do more live streams. So I will see y'all. Toodaloo. This is now the awkward part where I have to end the stream. So please 